Yeah, um, Rick, I don't know, I just wanted to bring your attention to this. Uh, oh. someone passed this on to me. It's from the, uh, Guardian's Media website. There has a sort of website that's dedicated to kind of media information. Is this about our complaint? Well, it, the headline is, Comedian Rapped Over Radio Innuendo. Right. Uh, Jessica Hodgson has uh, written the article. Well, are you familiar with this? Have you seen well, this? be careful now, because we actually got a complaint, and a lot of people don't know this, we got a complaint upheld, and, um, Well, all of this we're, is- We're very sorry, we didn't- we didn't mean to offend, um, and it was a while ago, uh, so we are gonna be very careful. Carl's getting very nervous. We're just gonna read out- we're not gonna editorialise, Carl. We're just gonna read out what The Guardian printed about us, alright? Okay. Comedian Ricky Gervais has had a dressing down from a broadcasting watchdog for his repeated use of the word cock in a lunchtime radio show. <laughs> That's alright, that's what that's it says, fine, Carl. That's fine, that's what it- I just- He's not gonna say it again, he's not- Yeah, yeah. Go Imagine on. Imagine this is the news yeah. and I'm reading it. Yeah. <laughs> the Broadcasting Standards Commission upheld a complaint against the comedian for coarse sexual innuendo yeah. in the programme on London Station XFM. The Commission acknowledged that the presenter's remarks were intended to be humorous, but took the view that the amount and detail of the coarse sexual innuendo had exceeded acceptable boundaries for broadcast, said the BSC, uh, BSC in a statement. The complaint objected to a section in the comic's Saturday afternoon show when he discussed the different meanings of the word cock. Gervais wondered aloud whether the word was acceptable when discussing birds, but not the male sexual organ. A BSC spokesman said the comedian went on and on about it for nearly five minutes. XFM, a self-styled alternative radio station, said in its defence that its remit was to provide cutting-edge programmes for a youth audience. The station said the programme's brief was to include elements of alternative comedy within certain shows that would not fit within a more mainstream radio station format. In this particular show, it was not the presenter's intention to shock when they took a humorous look at how the English language could be construed in different ways within different contexts. Gervais, whose big break was on Channel 4's 11 o'clock show, has shot to household status through the portrayal of David Brent, the middle manager from hell in BBC Two's cult show, The Office. Just in case you didn't know who I was talking about. Yeah, he's a household bit... name, yeah. but they just thought You might not have heard of him, but he is a household name. Now, um, that, that's good, that's good reporting, and they're quite right about it, and just to remind people, it was when Steve said the only, um, uh, bird that hasn't got a penis is the swan, and I went on about the male bird being called the cock, but I couldn't use that to mean, and, you know, it was, it, it was childish, yeah. you know. But, what, what annoys me is, I'm sure I've heard things on, like, Radio 1, like that. Oh, what's the, uh, the, uh, what's her name in the morning, Sarah? Uh, Cox. Yeah. And, uh, as there's a DJ, uh, like, like, Carl, um. Uh, Cox? Yeah, so you got, <laughs> Carl. What's the matter? I was just saying. You just saying there, there's a pair of, DJs on, yeah, but you know. We've done this. And uh, what are you talking about? We're just talking about names. They're just saying the names. Now I love Cox in the morning. You're a big fan. You're a big fan of Cox. Oh. And at night, what's the matter with Come you? Come on, Carl. Call? Rick, I'm worried we're getting a little bit highbrow. Do you reckon? Have you got any knob gags you could do quickly? Because I'm just thinking we're switching. There's a lot of people are going to be turning off. Um, I uh, mean, currently, currently on Capital FM, Chris Tarrant. And Dr. Neil Fox together at last. The partnership we've always they wanted. They said it would never happen. Do you know what I'd like to see together? Uh, that breakfast DJ, Sarah Cox. And who's the the uh dance just um Carl Carl uh, That'll be Carl uh, Cox. Carl, please, why are you getting you're suddenly saying these rude words? We've been reprimanded yeah, once, don't Carl. Don't say please. that. And don't say it so aggressively, because it sounds like you're saying Cox aggressively. Come on, we've been reprimanded. Yeah. All right? That just don't use language like well, that. It's annoying in. me. Come on. Why is it annoying you? Because We're talking about DJs, that's yeah. their names. But you, you try to be clever. I, I hardly think that's me, clever. You've given me a rub <laughs> Yeah, if that's my best attempt at being clever. I've got rubbish homework this week. Okay, he's really upset he's about really this. Upset. 